Choosing to come to the University of Virginia is, is a dream come true. Uh, yes, I'm an alum of Brown, and uh, I've been coaching there for 10 years, and, and I bleed Brown. But having said that, I'm a lacrosse coach first, and uh, I want to coach someplace where you can win a national championship at a school that's committed to excellence in both academics and certainly in athletics. And University, University of Virginia knows how to be great, and uh, I feel very fortunate that they chose me to be the next head coach of men's lacrosse. What kind of a lacrosse coach are you? And talk to me a little bit about the offense, the up tempo that you like to run. Sure, it's a. Uh, I grew up with the Native Americans uh, in Lafayette, New York, the Onondaga Indian Reservation. Uh, they're the ones who trained me and taught me the importance culturally, the significance of the game of lacrosse, and the game that they that they played was a game that prepared their young men for life. And that's not a game where you slow the ball down. That's not a game where you're patient. It's aggressive. Okay, there's a warrior mentality. And that's the style that we've played at Brown, and that's the style we're gonna play here at the University of Virginia. Aggressive, up-tempo, and an expressive form of lacrosse, and not a too evaluative where we're just critiquing every little thing. Turnovers are gonna happen. That's a part of playing fast, but we wanna play an aggressive, fun style of play. You got to see Virginia once the season up close. Talk to me about the team that you think that you're inheriting right off the bat, what type of talent level you have. Yeah, well, the, the cover's not bare, that's for sure. Dom Starge and his staff have done a great job uh, recruiting some of the best talent in the country to be here at University of Virginia. Uh, I'm excited with my staff, which will be coming soon, I hope, to, uh, to implement our systems with these men. And we think this is the, actually just about the perfect type of athlete to put our system within. Uh, maybe I would, I would go to another school and there wouldn't be enough talent and you'd have to take a couple years to figure it out, but we've got the right talent and uh, we're excited to get this going day one in, in uh, September. We were just kind of talking about this, but what kind of a whirlwind has this been like since you took the job? Sure, it's, you know, the, the transition, um, it's uh, making the transition from, uh, from Providence, Rhode Island, Charlotte, Virginia is really exciting, but it's, I've never been, uh, I've, I've never saw, seen 278 unread text messages in my phone before. You know, after a big win, maybe 50 or 60, um, this is different. And, uh, and they're all wonderful, you know, because it's the Brown community, uh, the Brown lacrosse family, the alumni reaching out saying, uh, we'll miss you, we love you. And it's the, uh, the Charlottesville community and the alumni base at the University of Virginia saying, we can't wait to get you here and you know, we're really excited about you having a job. So the excitement's here, uh, the energy's here. and. Uh, but I also know this comes with big expectations here. And so uh, the honeymoon's gonna be over real soon, and uh, now it's time to start preparing our, our teams to win. Yeah, that was, that was actually my next question. <laughs> what is it like walking into a place where the expectations are what they are? And, and it's obvious. You walk, I've just walked around the halls today, you know, in all the different sports and seeing these national championship trophies and, uh, and recognizing that this is a place that you can win, but you, this is a place you need to win. And, uh, and that's the type of place I've wanted. I've wanted to always be here. Um, and so I just feel really lucky that I've been given this opportunity by Craig Littlepage and the administration. Coach said you've been here for a day. What's, uh, what's on deck? Yeah, well, let's see. I, I, I got to meet the HR people, I, ID, IT, uh, the strength room. I uh, got to meet our strength coach, Everett, and he put me through an hour workout. And so that's why I'm still sweating right now. Um, and plus, I'm a northerner, so I'm still getting used to the southern weather down here. But um, <laughs> um, actually, I've already had two recruits on campus. Uh, one is actually is at Virginia and trying to make, make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Uh, and then another one is a, uh, is a high school prospect. Who, uh, so I'm already trying to get to work and trying to get the best here to, uh, uh, to, commit, to commit to being at University of Virginia. This is Bob from Charlottesville. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful dinner I had last night. And uh, um, I, uh, I, this area is incredible. You know, I've been, I had a chance to go out west and take a look at uh, Crozet and to see the mountains, the Blue Ridge. I mean, I grew up on a farm, and so this just feels right at home for me. Dom Starja is uh, my coach at Brown, and he and I are still very close, and he's always been my mentor. So there, don't be surprised if the current coach and the former coach are living together for a little while, because he's offered up a, a wing of his house for me and my family and I when we moved down. Are you going to take, take him up on that? I am going to take him up on that. <laughs> How cool is that? You know, uh, Dom's going to share everything he can with me, and uh, I've already started seeing you know, the incoming classes, the commitments, the scholarship commitments. You know, Dom is going to be very forthcoming, and uh, he's, a, he's a phenomenal person, and probably the reason I'm a coach. And then the last thing I just wanted to ask you, kind of along those lines, but what is the game plan in terms of getting to know your new guys? Obviously, it's the summer. I don't know how many of them are around. Right. Just that whole process. Yeah, it's unfortunately getting to know them is through like the most uh, 
inhuman sort of relationship mode of transmission is email. You know, it's uh, I, I want to see them face to face. I want to get to know them. There are a few uh, I just saw in the weight room with Everett and uh, uh, a couple are doing summer school. But th to really answer your question, it's, it's got to wait until August they get back. And so in some ways it helps me formulate my message, though I've already sent one through the email uh, expressing exactly what I believe in and uh, if they want to be a program, what they're going to have to accept. So, uh, but yeah, I can't wait to get to know them because the, 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 the reason we've been good in the past uh, at Brown University and, uh, is the relationships we build with men. There's X's and O's, okay? there's pressure, there's so much on our plate. But the bottom line, you, have to, you treat these men like men, you care for them, and they'll give you everything in return. And then do you have a timetable on when you'll move down, you and your family, permanently? Yeah, we're going to try to get down here in uh, middle August when uh, recruiting season dies down and I'm not racing all over from one camp to the next camp trying to find uh, future uh, members of the University of Virginia men's lacrosse team. And so uh, when that settles down in August, we'll, we'll make the move and uh, can't, wait to, uh, can't wait to settle in and be called a local. Yeah. <laughs>